In this era of endless sequels, reboots, and reunions, no successful screen property is ever really complete. With television in particular, a big finale doesn't necessarily spell the end anymore. Sometimes it's a no-brainer that an ultra-popular original series will get a spin-off. And once it does, the follow-up becomes beloved in its own right. But other times, audiences fall in love with a promised spin-off, only to see it fizzle out before it even debuts. Here are some of the TV spin-offs that never quite made it to air. How I Met Your Dad How I Met Your Mother attracted millions of faithful viewers who stuck around for nine seasons to find out the full story of how Ted Mosby fell in love with his kid's mystery mom. The finale ended up disappointing plenty of fans, but there was a chance to wash that bad taste away with a spin-off that CBS ordered in 2014. How I Met Your Dad was to star Greta Gerwig, but CBS was unhappy with the first pilot and unable to agree on conditions for a second. Casting and rights ownership issues were also later cited as reasons the network preemptively pulled the plug. The Farm In 2012, as The Office's final season loomed, NBC execs worked with Rain Wilson to develop a potential spin-off centered around his character Dwight Schrute. Entitled The Farm, it would focus on Dwight's vegetable farm and bed and breakfast, and all the strange figures in his personal life. Growing up with Dwight and Mose was not easy. Uh, Dwight was obviously the cool one, and Mose was the visionary, which left me to be the comedian. Unfortunately, the network was unimpressed. Most of the scenes shot for the would-be backdoor pilot made it into an episode of The Office's last season, but NBC had already decided that they wouldn't turn The Farm into a series. The Office may eventually return in some form, however. In late 2017, reports surfaced that NBC was again considering a way to revive the cult favorite comedy with a new series featuring a mix of returning stars and newcomers. Valley Girls the CW's Gossip Girl was a very successful teen soap opera, brimming with bonkers storylines while also being tongue-in-cheek. At the height of its popularity during the second season, the wheels started turning on a potential spin-off called Valley Girls. The series would have launched with the second season episode of the same name, which flashed back to the teen years of Serena Vanderwoodsen's mother Lily, as played by Brittany Snow. It was set in 1980s Los Angeles, instead of Gossip Girl's cushy digs on Manhattan's Upper East Side. The cast also featured Kristen Ritter as Lily's sister, along with guest appearances from No Doubt and 80s icon Andrew McCarthy. But shortly before the season 2 episode aired, the CW quietly backed away from the spin-off project. Aquaman the long-running superhero series Smallville followed Clark Kent's life in the title town before he became Superman. It enjoyed strong viewership and featured a cavalcade of supporting characters whose lives and adventures could potentially be explored further. A season 5 episode featuring Alan Richson as A.C. Curry, aka Aquaman, inspired a potential standalone series for the character, with actor Justin Hartley taking over the role. The CW ultimately declined to pick up the series, instead releasing the pilot as a standalone feature. But it didn't work out so bad for Hartley, as he later joined Smallville as Oliver Queen, aka the Green Arrow. In 2018, Hartley revealed that there had also been plans for a spin-off featuring himself as Oliver and Erica Durance as Lois Lane. Instead, those characters remained on Smallville, while a separate Green Arrow series later premiered on The CW in 2012. The Chatterbox With the possible exception of Steve Urkel, no sitcom star's voice has ever been quite as iconic as Fran Drescher's on The Nanny. She was at once charming and annoying, trashy but still sophisticated. As the show became a hit and introduced several characters from Fran's past, CBS was ready to consider a spinoff. A backdoor pilot entitled The Chatterbox aired late in The Nanny's second season. It took place at Fran's favorite hair salon and introduced viewers to the new characters who worked there. But despite some earnest efforts by the would-be spinoff's cast members, The Chatterbox never made it onto CBS's schedule. Assignment Earth There have been numerous versions of Star Trek over the years. In fact, one of the earliest attempted spin-offs happened near the beginning of the original series' run. In the second season episode, Assignment Earth, actor Gary Lansing was introduced as Gary Seven, a time-hopping alien on a mission to save humanity with his trusty cat by his side. Computer, record the following. Unless agents are found immediately. 
must undertake their mission. The episode was meant to serve as a backdoor pilot, but the original series itself was in danger of cancellation, so Assignment Earth was never picked up. But since then, there has been a seemingly endless number of Star Trek remixes on the silver, small, and now streaming screens. So despite this early setback, the franchise has indeed gone on to live long and prosper.